Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get depth of field, or some people call it cinematic blur, or blurry background, inside a video. This is very, very common for photography, uh, and it's also common in video, but it's generally done using lenses uh, and DSLR cameras, with one thing being in focus and the background being out of focus. Um, but you can do it in Premiere Pro without any of that fancy stuff. Let me show you. Here is the original shot of this puppy dog doing puppy stuff. I'm going to hit spacebar. And as you can see in this shot, everything is in focus. This is especially, this is always the case with like uh, hand cameras, for example. Um, not phone cameras, for example. Everything in a phone camera is in focus. But in a DSLR, you have the choice to make you know, the background blurry and the foreground subject in focus, for example. So this is the original shot. Now let's go ahead and turn the effects on. And now you're going to see the background is blurry and fuzzy. And when I hit spacebar, it's like that throughout the whole shot. So literally, we just did a depth of field uh, blur and we can do it very, very quickly. So let's go ahead and start from scratch. I'm going to delete that. And here we go. This was the original video, like I said, and drag and drop it. If you're following along, just drop any old video into the timeline. The next step, and you're, I'm already ahead of myself here, is we want to do what's called a Gaussian blur, or Gaussian blur, but I think it's Gaussian. And let's drag and drop that. So you go to your effects panel, and under video effects, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur. If you don't see your effects panel, go to window, make sure there's a check mark beside effect, controls. All right, drag and drop that bad boy onto the footage, and nothing happens. Not to panic. <laughs> now I'm going to show you the next part, although I may speed it up at parts because there is some, some heavy-duty lifting here. So first step, you need to make sure you're selected on Gaussian Blur, and now you're going to see this free draw Bezier tool, or what I like to call the pen tool. We call the pen tool, and we're going to draw a shape around the puppy dog. Now... Let me just go ahead and left click on that, and here we go. I'm going to draw around his ears, one, two, and you'll notice that I'm not going like super, super uh, careful, and that there's a reason for that, because you don't need to be perfect on this. Just do a good job, but nothing crazy, like you don't have to do all of the, the curves and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and I'll just go right to this feet, because I just want to show you this quickly. I don't want to get tight. Oh, hang on. Cancel that. Uh, there, we're going to go to there, and then let's go to here, and then let's just close it. Okay, cool. So we've got a mask. The next step is you want to hit this track selected mask forward. Left click on this, and it's going to go through the whole footage. So I've got three seconds of footage here, and it's going to try and match the mask up to the position of the dog. Let's go. I'm going to left click. And now it is tracking. Depending on how fast your computer is, this could take a few seconds. Also, depending on how much footage you're tracking. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, welcome back. When we start at the beginning, we'll go take the playhead right back to the beginning, and you're going to notice that as the dog moves over time, you can see him slowly moving, the mask is generally moving with him. Uh, this part here, I would move this out a little bit, but this is not a big deal. I'm going to move forward in the timeline. Okay, that's not so bad. And keep moving forward. Okay, good. Okay, so this part here, I would again make an adjustment. So I will move that out to here, let's say. And then I might move this point. And you do have to do this point by point over time, and it can be tedious if you've got a lot of footage and it's moving hectically. Uh, but that's okay. Let's go keep going. Dog tilts his head. Okay, so this is off. So this needs to go to here, and this point needs to go to right about here. And maybe we'll move this one up a little bit. And again, I'm outside the lines. It's not exactly to him but it's because we're gonna feather this it's not to worry so I'm just gonna make some really quick adjustments here okay good 
And let's go right to the end and see what happens. Oh boy, that's no good. So I'm going to move that one back. And again, you see what I'm doing here? There we go. All right, cool. And presto. And let's go to the end. And to the end, it is a mess, so I will move the last one again. Here we go, last one. Okay. Done. Okay, well, no, let's move that one up. All right. Now, what we've done is we've created a mask around this puppy, which is what we want to do. Now I'm going to click down here, and I'm going to take the playhead to the beginning. I'm going to click on the video just to make sure. I'm going to click on the Gaussian blur effect, and then I'm going to click on the mask, and I'm going to hit the play one more time just to see. Uh, okay, it didn't really show me what I wanted, but that's okay. So as I move forward, you'll see here that mask is moving with the puppy dog quite well. All right, good. The next step is we want to go to the invert. So we want to expand the mask, but before we do that, left click on inverted. This is important. We want to invert the mask because we want to blur everything outside of the dog. Not the dog itself, but everything outside. So when we invert it, that's how you do it. I'm going to rack this blurriness up now to like 100. I'm going to go to 80 just because to make it really, really obvious. I wouldn't do that necessarily. Oh no, that's way too much. Let's go to 50. Uh, something like that. 52, sure. And then, because you'll see that it looks quite hard around the dog and the edges are quite, uh, they're quite, yeah, they're, they're hard edges. We don't want that. So we're going to take this mask feather and jack it way up. And you're going to see here that it goes to the outside and to the inside. So let's say something like 70. Let's go with 60. See how that looks. Okay, cool. Now we're going to go ahead and click off of it. So I'm just going to click outside of it, or click outside here. And now play head to the beginning, and let's hit play and see what we got. There it is. The dog is in focus. The background is out of focus. Here we go. Just to make sure you guys see what we just did there, I'm going to left click on this effects. This is the original shot. This is the blurred shot. And it's blurry, but it's not super blurry, so we could even increase the blurriness. You know, why not? All right, that's extra blurry. Okay? So, and then when we hit spacebar, when we play it back one more time, why not? Do, do, do. The dog is in focus. The background is out of focus. That is how you do blurring. I know it took a few extra minutes there to get this out, but this is how you do it. It looks good. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.